Good morning and hello from a very snowy Rotswav. So I just arrived here last night. It's about ten, quarter to ten in the morning. I've just been editing my vlog for today. But this is my vlog that's going to go up tomorrow and it's going to be all about Christmas markets and general winter merriment in Wrocław. I'm really excited to be here. Poland is one of my favourite countries in Europe. I've never been to Wrocław before so I'm really excited to see it because I've heard it is absolutely beautiful and it is especially wonderful around Christmas time. And it is the 2nd of December so the Christmas markets are in full swing. So I'm just going to get ready. Um, and then I really I haven't eaten anything yet today because I just got up and I've just been doing this sorting this video out um, So I think I'm gonna grab something to eat and then let's go out and explore But I tell you what while I get dressed Let's rewind to last night and Claire from the past will show you all around where I've been staying because it's quite an interesting one And it was very affordable. Hi, it's Claire from the past here. It's 10 p.m. I'm very tired, but I'm just going to do you a little quick room tour of where I'm staying. So, just to explain, it's like a student halls, but not entirely a student halls, but a lot of the people here seem to be students or people living here like semi long term. But the rooms are really cool, like super modern, got everything you need, really good for solo travellers because, I mean, at least my room is a single bed. And um, it was 39 euros a night. So let me show you around. So we've got the single bed here, which is very comfy. Um, yeah, single bed, but fine for just me. Then there is windows here. You can step up on the platform of the single bed and overlooking the snowy streets of Wrocław. There's a desk with a botanicum book. And then work area, there's all the lights you need, all the plugs you need, everything like that. There's some storage here. There's a nice big mirror. The bathroom is just through here. So we've got towel, big sink and a rain shower. There's a self-serve shop that I just use. I literally had to use my debit card to get in and then through video, they videoed what I was taking off the shelves and then they just charged me for it. And I know these are a thing in London. I know they have the Amazon Fresh there, but I live in rural Devon in the UK and we do not have that kind of thing there. So I was very overwhelmed with this. There's also cooking, like cooking rooms, kitchens, that's what they're called, uh, where I then cooked the pierogi that I bought at the self-serve shop. So honestly, like, <laughs> I've never stayed somewhere like this before, but I'm quite liking it. Anyway, I'm very tired, so I'm gonna send you back to Claire from the present and hopefully she'll be a bit more awake. <laughs> I am in my many layers, um, but the heating's really good in here, so I'm actually absolutely sweltering, but it's always the way. <laughs> it's gonna be cold outside. I've been watching the snow all morning. So I'm gonna head out now and I am very hungry. So I'm gonna try and find so I'm feeling a pastry and coffee. That's what I always have a craving for for breakfast when I'm on the continent. So I'm just gonna walk towards the city center, which is actually about half an hour walk. And then hopefully I'll find a cafe en route. Part of the reason I really wanted to go cabin baggage only, under seat bag only, I should say, wasn't just because I wanted to save on the um, Ryanair fare, but it was also because I am carrying this bag around with me all day. So it can't be too heavy. Oh. I mean, it is a bit heavy, but it shouldn't be too bad when it's on my back. Tighten the straps up a bit. There we go. Ready to walk around for about five hours. It is so snowy. <laughs> it's been snowing all morning and it just keeps falling and like settling really well so this is really exciting i haven't been somewhere snowy at christmas time in so long so i'm really excited to see the christmas market all like covered in a blanket of snow but right now i'm just walking from where i was staying which is on the outskirts to the city center i am very much layered up so i think i'll be all right temperature wise but just got to work out where i'm going and then i need to locate some coffee
All right, quick coffee and cake stop. I had this chocolate brownie, which was actually very rich. Um, I may have, I should have probably just had a pastry instead, but it was it was on the counter and it was looking at me. Um, but the coffee was very, very nice. That place was El Gato, it was called. And I think they do their own kind of speciality coffee. So that was very good. So do recommend the coffee there. And I have made it to Rotswab Christmas Market, which you can probably see behind me. My hands are getting really cold, but I'm gonna just do some filming around the market just to give you an idea of of what there is here. I'm not sure if I've said this yet in the video, but I do actually only have a few hours here. I'll explain it a little bit more in my next video, but my train is at about 4.30, so I need to be wrapping up here about four, and it's now about midday. So I've got about four hours, so should be enough time to see all of the markets, um, and then maybe see a little bit more of the city as well. So let's take a walk around the market. The Rotswar Christmas Market is set in the famous Market Square, which is actually one of the largest market squares in Europe. At first I was like, oh it looks nice, but it's not huge, but actually it just kept going and going and going. And honestly, by the time I turned my third corner, I was so impressed. It was easily the best Christmas market I'd ever been to. these little cabins telling fairy stories there was so much food Georgian food there was food from all over Europe there was bars Glühwein bars where you could get a hot drink there were fairground rides there was plenty of places for shopping some of the stuff was a bit generic Christmas market -y stuff but there was also lots of locally made products as well I was about to get a mulled wine because I thought it was time but actually I just queued up here and realised at the front there was a sign in Polish which I then translated to English, no card payment. So this is this one here, I'm going to try and see if I can find somewhere that sells mulled wine and accepts card payments. I haven't bought anything yet but I have noticed a few of the stores do have card readers so hopefully one of the stores selling wine will, otherwise I have to think about whether I want to get some Zloty out or not. While I'm on my mulled wine mission, just look at these scenes, look at this snow. Oh, it was so Christmassy. This indoor bar here is looking very busy. Warm though. <laughs> uh, that place had the same menu and the same sign saying no car payment, so I will keep trying. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find somewhere selling mulled wine that does do car payment. I found a vegetarian vegan restaurant there. Let's keep going. It is getting rather cold. I'm starting to not be able to feel my fingers, but this is absolutely mesmerizing. Like <laughs> this is about 10 times better than any Christmas market in the UK. Oh, uh, like, okay, two things I've discovered. One is that I think all of the mold wine stands may all be cash only because you have to pay a deposit for a cup and I think maybe they can't do the deposit on card. And also I have found free to use a fairly clean toilets at the corner of where the St Elizabeth of Hungary church is. I will put the Google Maps location of them in the description of this video. So I did actually read that you can climb up this church, well climb up the tower, so I'm going to go and see if it's open and if I'm able to climb up to the top because I think that will give me a lovely view of the market and that is something to do in Rotswaf any time of year and then I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get some cash out and find a mulled wine because it's very cold and I need something to warm me up the tower is open but it's also cash only actually so I'm gonna go find some cash now but that's good because I can get a bit out and then I can use it on the tower and a mulled wine <laughs> um I just did a quick google uh, to see if there were any bank banks in Poland that don't have fees and according to a TripAdvisor thread which I'm not sure if I believe none of them have any fees so I'm going to try the closest one and see if it charges me anything. I just got 50 zloty out of my bank, took it out, put it in my purse and then I found another 50 zloty in my purse. I've no idea how that got there. The last time I was in Poland was 2019. I don't even think I owned that purse back in 2019 <laughs> so I'm very confused but now I have 100 Polish zloty in cash so that should be more than enough to go up the tower and get a mulled wine and it will probably pay for my lunch as well so that's all right but the ATM did not charge me I'll write the name of it on the screen because um yeah I from what I read online apparently no ATMs charge but it's good to know one that definitely won't charge so <laughs> visit that one it's right at the corner of the Christmas market not too far from the toilets 
it's 15 zloty to go up this tower, or 10 if you're a student. She actually presumed I was a student and I corrected her. Should have just said I was a student. So there are more than 300 steps to reach the top of this church, over 250 of which are in a very tight spiralling staircase as soon as you are in. So it's kind of like it, you know, it's like bam. And then if anyone's come the other way, you have to like squeeze past. So yeah, that's a difficult one to climb up. I'm nearly at the top, I've just got these much easier looking steps to do now. Then I've got to go down, but we'll worry about that when we come to it. Hopefully the view will be worth it. I just got up to here and saw these steps behind me were closed and I thought, is this it? Is this what I've climbed up your end of steps for? But I don't think it is, I think I go out this door here. Hopefully, let's see. much more than I can. Luckily there are these little little bits here where I can crouch and have a look but um, yeah <laughs> I've had this problem before in other viewpoints as well. They're not that friendly to us shorties. After that I definitely deserve a mulled wine and I still have 85 Zlotti so I think it is <laughs> glue vine o'clock. was 15 zloty for the mulled wine and it's a 20 zloty deposit for the mug. All right, so I didn't think one glass of mulled wine was quite enough, so I've had two glasses and now I am going to hunt down some pierogi, I think. I have about 75 zloty left. No, a little bit less than that. I think 65 slotty left. And I will be quite happy if I spend that all on dumpling because I might just do a little dumpling crawl of the market. But yeah, I just had a couple of glasses of blue vine and it was just really nice. I was just sitting there with a view of the Rotswath Town Hall and I was just thinking, I started so if you don't know i run a website called europe in winter which is the main reason why i'm here but i'm making these youtube videos as a little extra and i started this website europe in winter um two years ago and i just started it as a little little thing to see if it will take off and it really really has and it's just so lovely that i get to do all of this um because of europe in winter like it's amazing so really happy about that and I, yeah, I'm gonna go find some pierogi <laughs> for that little heartfelt message. I have 25 zloty left, but that cost me 30 zloty, and unfortunately, the cheapest pierogi I can get on the menu is 27 zloty. So I can't get any there, but hopefully, I'll be able to find something else that is 25 zloty for like a similar thing that I can eat. I found somewhere selling a falafel hummus and baba ganoush for 22 zloty. So I got that, spent 22 of my remaining 25 zloty. It wasn't good. The falafel was, was barely edible and the hummus tasted milky. So I think uh, I should have stuck to the pierogi. They were also selling this, um, it was like a corner of bread it was called. And it was basically like a slice of bread and it had just like toppings on it. Most people seem to be having sausage and gherkin. 
but I'm sure I could have got a veggie one if I wanted but I didn't really fancy loads of bread so I thought I'd get that but regretted it but we live and we learn I have had such a lovely afternoon exploring the Rotswell Christmas markets it's been really lovely and I can see why people call it the Christmas capital of Poland but it is time to resume my journey and I'm heading to Vilnius which is nowhere near here I've got to get a train and then a night bus <laughs> so um, that's going to be my next video um, so feel free to follow along wait for that video which will be up tomorrow and yeah thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time bye